عن افتتاح هذه الجلسة الصيحة سيد وزير العدل سيد أمين عام الحكومة أصحاب السيادة الهيئة الوطنية للقضاة والمحامي الأمريكيين سيدات السادة أعضاء الأمريكي نفتتح السنة القضائية الجديدة بإذن مولوي سامي صاحب الجلالة إن التواجد تواجدكم معنا اليوم لرحاب هذا الصرح العتيق والبيت الوقوف وتشريفكم له وصفته تحية تقدير وعرفان على اهتمامكم وعنايتكم الحضور الكريم قد شكلت سنة 2013 بالنسبة لنا محطة هامة من أجل الحصن في آلية الحاكمة للمؤسسات البنيوية وفق مخطط متكامل شمولي بمقاربة تشاركية وأهداف واقعية يمكن أن نتلمس ملامحها في المحاور الاستراتيجية التالية تكشيف لا اكتسابية قرارات محكمة النار ذلك في إطار المسؤولية عن المخاطر التي تتحقق بمجرد حصول الفعل الدار الفضيلة الحضور الكريم تنفيذا للإذن المولوي السامي نعقد اليوم مراسيم التي تعتبر بمثابة فرصة لتقييم حصيلة سنة أفلت والتطوع والإعلام لبزوغ سنة قضائية جديدة إصلاح منظومة العدالة في بلدنا أبنت فعالياته التشاركية سيدات وسادة الأفاضل قبل أن أعلن أن أرفع الجلسة أدعوكم لزيارة المعارض المتائقين
الوصول إلى العدالة بكل معانيها وذلك من خلال اللا عنف وكذلك من خلال ثقافة والمقاومة ثانيا التعليم يساعد القادة على تقصير ويقتضي إعداد النفس لحملة طويلة الأمد رابعا التفاوض وهو الفن بين وجهات My name is Denise Langford Morris. I am chair of the National Bar Association Judicial Council. And first, on behalf of our entire delegation, I want to thank Chief Justice Mustafa Perez for the invitation, the gracious invitation to join here in the Court of Cassation as we celebrate for the first time, but not the last time, the birth of the great one, Dr. Martin Luther King. It is our honor to be here in the Kingdom of Morocco to celebrate this great occasion. Thank you, Chief Justice. Although our theme today is celebrating the birth of Dr. Martin Luther King. We are here under the backdrop of our theme, Moroccans and Black America working together for judicial reform. But first, we must examine our past. Our freedoms have come with much struggle. And as we stand here today, we stood with each participant in the evolution of freedom. Those who said yes to freedom and no more to tyranny, hatred, despotism, and injustice. We walked and stood with Moses as he delivered God's law to guide us to a civilized society. The Hebrews' first lesson as a free people was that they could not have freedom without law. Throughout history, we have received a guide for living together, knowing the love of God. In 1620, the meek and the titled sat down to make a compact for it fairly. In America, a stimulation for rights of all occurred. In Philadelphia, in 1776, declaring a principle a certain unalienable rights, including life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In that same city of brotherly love came a living constitution and bill of rights in Philadelphia at the convention. The true miracle was not the birth of the constitution, nurtured through two turbulent centuries of our making. End of quote. If human experience proves anything, it proves with a universe nurtured through two turbulent centuries of our making. End of quote. If human experience proves anything, it proves with a universe nurtured through two turbulent centuries of our making. End of quote. If human experience proves anything, it proves with the of the Judicial Council of the National Bar Association and a member of the Illinois Appellate Court based in Chicago. Like many of you, I had some remarkable parents. My father, the Reverend Dr. Sheldon Jerome Hall, was pastor of the Friendship Baptist Church of Chicago for some 51 years, from 1955 until 2006. He was a leader for his time and not confined to the pulpit when the action was on the streets. He marched with Dr. King in Selma and at a time when it was very unpopular to do so under Mayor Richard Daley, he was one of a few churches in Chicago who would allow Dr. King Dr. King was at Friendship Baptist Church uh, three times, and the final time was June 26 of 1967. Dr. King's legacy 
Association, the oldest and largest bar association of African American lawyers, judges, and law students in the United States, I am privileged as its president to bring you greetings. We are extremely grateful and honored to have His Majesty King Mohammed VI and Chief Justice Mustafa Fares for inviting us to Morocco to examine judicial reform and to share our legal concepts. Thank you, Chief Justice, again. Time to recognize members of the National Bar Association's Board of Governors who have joined us today. Board members, would you please stand and be recognized? <coughs> American judges, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored and very pleased today to present to you a short overview of the American civil rights act of Martin Luther King. With many leaders and organizations in the freedom struggle. of our loved one, Dr. Martin Luther King, is inscribed as follows from the Chief Justice of the Court of Cassation. It says, gift from Honorable Chief Justice Mustafa Ferez, Cassation Court, Kingdom of Morocco, on the occasion of the NBA Judicial Council and the Board of Governors Midwinter Conference meeting held in Morocco on January 18 through 26, 2014.
Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Sahin.